This is a honeybee hive. It's too cold just now for there to be much signs of life inside. But when spring starts to come and the flowers come into bloom, this will be fuzzing with activity. Because there's no bees around at the moment, I'm going to take this hood off because I don't think I need it. Surprisingly enough, honeybees are probably one of the UK's most important resources. It's not just for the honey that they produce, but because of the pollination that they do as they go from flower to flower collecting nectar. Honeybees pollinate around a billion pounds worth of crops every year. Without these insects, these things just wouldn't be on our shelves in the supermarkets. Unfortunately, honeybee numbers have halved over the last 25 years. And in years where there's bad weather like we had last year, their numbers can take even more of a battering. This hive has been given some extra food to help the bees survive through the winter. It's also got this cage on it to protect them from woodpeckers. Unfortunately, honeybees face more threats than just birds and bad weather. A nasty disease called varroa mite has devastated Britain's honeybee colonies, while pollution and pesticides are all thought to weaken colonies, making them more vulnerable to infection. And once infected, a colony can collapse within weeks. For beekeepers, sometimes the only way to know whether a colony is infected is to open it up and have a look inside. But they're often reluctant to do this because during the winter, it can disturb the bees and make them use up valuable energy. So researchers at Nottingham Trent University have come up with a new way to spot the early signs of disease by listening to them. Honeybees communicate using vibrations. It allows them to pass vital information to each other in the hive. So, when a honeybee finds a field full of flowers, it can come back to the hive and it uses something known as a waggle dance to tell the others where to find that food. They do this by vibrating their wings rapidly and moving in one direction. The duration of that dance and the direction in which they move tells the other bees where they can find the flowers. Just like the waggle dance, bees use vibrations to communicate other things, like their health. Dr. Martin Brensick at Nottingham Trent University is working with the Bee Farmers Association to try and decode the messages that might be contained within these vibrations. Much like listening to a heartbeat in a human patient, Dr. Bensick says it's possible to listen to the distinct noises that come from inside a hive and be able to diagnose whether there's something wrong. With this early warning, beekeepers may be able to step in and hopefully help their bees before the infection gets too bad. And that way, allow us to keep fruit and vegetables on our shelves and hopefully let us continue enjoying this lovely honey. <laughs>